Today's segment of Oh Brother is sponsored by War Blog Eagle, the entertaining blog that provides you with everything you need to know about what's happening in the world of Auburn athletics. Read it on the web at www.warblogeagle.com. I'm sure our listeners are feeling much safer now. Mm, after uh, yesterday's yeah. survival of the fittest with Colleen Lockerbie. Yeah. Now that everyone knows exactly how to survive yeah. a bear attack. And not just a bear attack, yes. but several different varieties. Yes. Yeah, it, that was very informative. Yeah. Now, we'll... Okay. <laughs> I hope you can actually convince your wife to do this, because we're actually recording these out of order. And we're assuming... <laughs> You, what was that? You're gonna, yeah. Well, of course, yeah. Well, you we recorded that. it yesterday. Right? Sure, we did. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Survival of the fittest. It was good. Mm-hmm. Mm, it really totally good. happened. I, I'm Will Lockamy along with Reed Lockamy. You're listening to Oh Brother. We record at the Brandon Brown in the Country Western Delight Studios. That's right. And it's Wednesday, Reed, which means it's well, oh, sorry, it's Wednesday. Wednesday Day. That's right. Which means it's time for show and tell, and we have got ooh, we got a dandy, an incredible commercial today mm-hmm. that uh, was actually filmed in our home state of Alabama. Are we getting paid for this, by the way, for airing this? Because it is a commercial. Uh, I'm sure these people have lots of money. I'm and sure they're they sending do. it our way. I'm sure they do. What What is this commercial, Will? Well, it's for a uh, trailer home liquidation. Now place. they don't like to Mobile say trailer. Home. They like uh, they don't like to say mobile home. What do they say? Home. Home? Just home. But it's on a trailer. No. It, well you can roll it around. Really, why don't we just call it a house is what they like to say. It's not a house, is Well, it? that's what they like to say. Okay. It's a house liquidation center yeah. in Coleman, Alabama. Yeah. And, and people uh, may have seen this. Yeah, it's uh, become very popular all, all mm-hmm. over the country. And it's not just the commercial that's very popular, but also the making of the commercial. And that's actually, yeah, today on Show and Tell, we have a video that we host on our website, obrotherradio.com. And today's video is not the commercial. It is the, it's the making of. It's yeah. the behind the scenes, how this commercial came into being. So you can go to the website. And what we're going to do, Will, is I actually recorded the audio from the actual commercial itself. We're play that let's do it's incredible and i tell you if i had to buy a house house from these people uh or a a house in general i would go to these people all right so here's the audio hi i'm robert lee i own coleman liquidation right there his name i sell mobile homes i'm not gonna waste your time i'm gonna tell it just like it is these are mobile homes not mansions now he did just say mobile homes. Look, right twice there. he said mobile homes. I'm where telling you, you on you the making of, on the making of video, okay. she says I don't like to call them trailers or even mobile homes. Well, he right there twice. All right, let's, said just, mobile right, homes. let's keep going. Here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, pressed the wrong thing there. Here we go. They come in two pieces. If that's what you're looking for, that's what I got. They're used. Some of them have stains. And boy, do they! And do they? They show the stains. You got to right go there to in the, the commercial, <laughs> yeah. And especially on the making of you, when you get to see, yeah, you got to go watch this. Yeah, here we go. Cover that up. She decorates them. She sells them. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is she good looking? Uh, the decorator or the seller? The seller. Yes, she is good looking. She is good looking. Yeah. You you wouldn't guess out of this. And group. she has that <laughs> that sort of like redneck. Chic, right? It's sort of like, hey, that's Daisy. a good-looking girl who is a red. But her name's Daisy. Yeah, and a lot of shots of her like smoking a cigarette. Genie. Yeah. <laughs> Amber. No. Amber. No, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. It could be Amber. Yeah. yeah. These guys help me move. Them. Did you hear that right there? Those wolf. guys help me move them. No wolf. Uh, the wolf. <laughs> I, that's one of the best things about this commercial is the is the sound effects. Now, will you and I have some good sound effects on our phones? We we've, we've yeah. played them before. But what I like is that we got a whip here going. Whoosh, whoosh, that's going on in this commercial. <laughs> the wolf right there and Eagle. Very Now, prominent. I heard you just refer to read our sound effects booth over yes. here in the Brandon Brown and the Country yes. Western Studio as our phones. Right. Is that what you're going to nickname the sound effects booth over here now? Yeah, the, our phones. Okay. Yeah, we call it that. Okay, gotcha. It's an inside joke. Right, here we go. Going. What was that? I don't know. But I tell you what <laughs> it is. Mount Lion is what that it's was. It's something that Colleen Lockamy is going to come back in another segment tell and tell us, us how. how to protect <laughs> ourselves from. Yeah, if you're in Coleman. Yeah, here we go. A bouncer in Birmingham hit me in the face with a crescent wrench five. I just have to say this did not happen at Innisfree not Irish Innisfree, Pub, okay. by the way. With a crescent wrench? Yeah. Do we, you we, let your bouncers carry crescent wrenches? Uh, no. Okay. 
listen to this next part. Maybe yeah. it's even better than being hit in the face with a crescent ridge by a bouncer. Here we go. And my wife's boyfriend broke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Red flag. That's what Red you just flag. Said. My wife's boyfriend. What did the wife's boyfriend do? Let's hear. Know. My jaw with a fence post. Broke his so jaw. If you don't buy a trailer from me, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> Now, now, some people are thinking, hey, there's a sound effect of a chainsaw. Not a sound effect. Uh-uh. Just a chainsaw. <laughs> just him using a chainsaw in the commercial. Here we go. So come on down to Coleman Liquidation and get yourself a home. Or don't. I don't care. That's it. This is basically the end of the commercial. Here and they are walking off. watch kind of yeah. walking towards Kim. Walking and towards. And, and then, then jogging towards. And then almost in slow right motion. Right here. As the music builds. Yeah. The one oddly is she attractive or not redneck girl in the middle. She definitely is attractive. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, Will, let's talk about this real quickly. We don't have tons of time, but number one, this is awesome. It's uh, incredible. And I want to give a shout out to listener Curtis, right, who lives in Georgia, yeah. actually. Uh, but Curtis emailed me just the other day or emailed the show at obrotherradio gmail.com and said, hey, y'all should use this as a show and tell. It was good I insight. Him, yeah. I was like, that is good insight because actually it was already on the schedule. We were already planning on it. That just shows how in tune with the show Curtis is. And then uh, even more, <clears throat> or not more credit, but equal credit goes back to Brandon Brown for emailing us this clip. Yeah, Brandon uh, Brown uh, of the... Of the uh, Brandon Brown and Country Western Delight. Yeah, he's the one who notifies uh, of this. So you should go to the website because now you've heard the commercial and you can actually see the commercial online as well, but you'll have to follow the links on YouTube to get to the actual commercial. But if you go to our website, obrotherradio.com, you can watch the making of. Now, Will, when I saw this commercial, the first thing it made me think of was the old, uh, remember Fred Hunter, maybe maybe even still does, but he certainly used to. Oh, he to. still does. Okay, he would put on that huge belt buckle, and he yep. would do a segment on the local news here called Absolutely <laughs> Alabama. Well, that's what happens when you're the third meteorologist in line, <laughs> when you're the third string meteorologist. Which is what Fred Hunter is. Yeah, you got to come up with other segments. Yeah. And uh, his is absolutely Alabama, where he These finds a good down home story, yeah. like personal interest story. Yeah, and goes and yeah. talks about it, and at the end, always finishes it up with some very sappy kind of. And that's absolutely Alabama. Absolutely Alabama. Alabama. Um, now, yeah. poor David Neal, who used to be the big shot, yes. number one, first string starter. Is he having now? To do that he's now? a third stringer <laughs> on another channel. He lost his job at Fox. Now he's like the third stringer at CBS, and I, I'm afraid David's doing some of these types of things. He's having to do stories like on people who, yeah. who's fat kids that got beaten up in their eyes, or whose spouse or cheated on them, and what's happened to them now, or whatever. Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. singer. Um, all right, so will this may made me think of an absolutely Alabama piece because it really is. I mean, number one, it's in Coleman, and it doesn't get much more Alabama than Coleman. Right. Uh, number two, it's about mobile homes or trailers or whatever you know, double wides, whatever you want to call them. And these people are hardcore. I mean, it, it is manufactured like, homes. Manufactured there we go. homes, certainly. And they're there are really funny scenes in the video that you can watch on our website where, like, there's a fox that they shot in the parking lot, and they've got it dressed up. It's been stuffed, you know, and <laughs> yeah. they got dressed up wearing sunglasses and a hat or and whatever. And they say, what, was it wearing that when he shot Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, it's – anyway, so it's, it's – now – it's worth watching. That's the point. You should go to the website and watch the video. Here's the other thing I want to mention real quickly. Did you notice, Will, in the video of the making of this commercial, there was a one of those, you know, digital, you know, picture frames, you know, like where Right, it, sure. It, where the did you have to taken. notice what it was a picture of? Uh-uh. It wasn't a picture actually of anything. It was an advertisement for a business, a bank. Ooh, the Eva Bank? Eva Bank. That's our relative's bank. Our relatives are heavily involved in Eva Bank. And sure enough, I'm watching this video, and and there, lo and behold, is an advertisement for Eva Bank. This is the same bank that I went to and did my refinance on my home. Boy, this this probably means we have an in with these folks and maybe could get them on the show.